Monsters Freaking Inc., huh? I bet this game's gonna be Garbo. Is the game capture coming through? The audio? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Took a second, but... Am I coming through? Okay, good. Everything seems to be working. I really, like... I don't want this sorted alphabetically. <laughs> ah, okay. I renamed some things so it made more sense. But now, like, things aren't where I expect them to be. And it's screwing me up so hard. It's fine. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah. I am stream and that... Holy shit. That is a sound. As you're picking stuff here. That's... Oof. That's something. Look fun? I don't know. We'll find out. Right now it looks like... Nothing. It just looks like a game. Is my... Stuff set up properly? The game just looks freaking weird to me, man. Oh, not him. Not that. Go back. Go back! Load profile. Yeah, I mean, it says it's on the right thing. Okay, well, whatever. I guess it is. I guess this game just has, like, some weirdly compressed backgrounds or something. Alright, whatever. Play game. Let's get into it, shall we? Oh, they got a level select? I wonder if you gotta, like, beat a level before you can use the level select? I mean, I feel like that's pretty common. I don't like this. I don't... <laughs> I don't like when there's, like, scenes straight out of movies. That's just asking the VOD to get fucked. <laughs> to get nuked, man. <laughs> like, bruh, I promise this isn't the movie. This is the game, man. It's just the game. I can't help it. It's not me. <laughs> is, are they even gonna say anything? Are they, just, are they just... There's no... It's just like a little bit of music. There's not even the dialogue. Do they not talk in the movie? Oh, there it goes. What a bitch. I plan to, like, dude. Way to be a dick. I'm gonna get your ass kicked. I hope you know that. I love how, like, the music finally started to work its way up, you know? Like, it was grooving, it was doing its thing, and then it just cuts out. Like, <laughs> that was great. That was good stuff, man. Super happy about that. How's everybody doing tonight, though? Brother, I guess you're pretty much the only one here right now <laughs> that, like, I haven't talked to. How you doing tonight, boy? You excited for some Mass Effect? Or, uh, not Mass Effect. I mean, we'll get to that eventually. So I gotta, I gotta beat the Pokemon Nuzlocke first. That's gonna take a little while. Um, some Monsters, Inc. That's what I was trying to say. Can we do anything? I had to make sure that my controller wasn't dead. I was like... I thought we'd be able to control something there, but nah, we can't do shit. There's no way that's his original voice actor, man. There's no freaking way. That sounded like a really shit and in, in, not interpreter, impersonator. <laughs> That's so bad sounding. Challenge, you'll need to find where Thaddeus left his scare manual and give it to him. Watch out for Randall. He's trying to be the top scare and he'll try and stop Solly at all costs. Look out for Mike. When Solly gets stuck, go talk to him. Mike will almost always have a useful hint. If you get stuck, try to talk to other monsters and see if they can help. Sometimes a monster just wants to chat, but if you talk to the same monster again, they may just give you a valuable clue. Collecting discarded screams that have been left about will help Solly unlock bonus levels. There are 100 screams hidden about on every level, so try to collect them all. This is a missing scream canister. If Solly can collect all five, he will just need to beat the top scarer fright challenge in order to unlock a movie that can be viewed in the movie viewer. Is the movie just going to be a scene from the movie, though? Also, why is it telling us all of this at the beginning of the level? Let me just, like, find the shit and then tell me as we find it or something, man. 
Whenever Solly is hurt and needs to regain his strength, he should seek out treats. Collect one of these to restore. I'm assuming it's a life or something. I'm not that worried about it. This frame rate looks wonderful too. Okay, so we can jump. We can roar at things. <laughs> we... <laughs> Bruh, is that supposed to be an attack? That looks like, <laughs> oh my God. That looked like absolute garbage. Triangle doesn't seem to do anything. I'm assuming we can break stuff with that, yeah. Can we break you? No. Double jump doesn't exist. Oh. The camera doesn't actually tilt. It points down a little bit when you move it up. But when you click down, it doesn't just like point the camera up. It actually just moves the physical camera down. Like to the floor. That's weird. I mean, if we ever need to look under something, I guess that'll be handy. But that's that feels weird. Oh, triangle is how you interact with things. Scare all five monster mice before time expires, then collect all five missing scream canisters to unlock a movie that can be. I don't really care about the movies because I feel like it's just gonna be scenes from the movie and like. I really don't care about scenes from the movie. Did the R and L buttons do anything? Oh, that's like a sneak button. Okay. How did we not scare that mouse, dude? That mouse was like on us. New record, let's go us. What's R2 do? First person view. Okay, L2, centers camera. L1, as far as I can tell, does absolutely nothing. That's fine. I don't need your hint, Solly. We got this. Door to the Monsters, Inc. Something. If you find the scare manual and give it to Thaddeus, the stockroom door will unlock and open for you. Okay. Can we, like, platform our way up here? No. Not gonna happen. That's fine. I didn't want up there anyways. It looks fucking stupid. Who made this game, I wonder? I wasn't really, like... Well, I was downstairs peeing, so, like... <laughs> I have no idea. I didn't see any of the intro stuff. But is it, like, an actual decent, well-known developer? Or is it just some... Random dude... In a basement somewhere that they paid to throw the game together? It's like... I mean, it doesn't look horrible, right? It's just... It looks... I guess on par with what I would expect from, like, a, a kind of crappy PS2 game. Oh, shit, you were gone? <laughs> I didn't know you were gone. I was talking to you earlier. Um, I was saying, like, who made this freaking game? Was it somebody, like, an actual well-known developer? Or was it just some random dude in his basement that Disney Pixar paid to throw this shit together? Because, like, it looks okay, but it feels wrong. Like, the frame rate feels off. The camera's weird. Like, how it moves actually down to the floor and up into the sky and stuff. Did I already say the frame rate looks like ass? Because the frame rate looks like it's ass. Everything just feels a little... A little off. The animations feel a little, like, too clunky or something. Like, look at this spin, man. That's his attack. He literally just spins in a circle. Like, that's not even an animation. Does he animate at all? I guess he pulls his arms up a tiny bit and, like, crouches his neck down a tiny bit. But, like, that's the entire animation. The rest of it's just freaking... <laughs> the rest of it's just spinning him around real fast, man. Is this the 2001 game? No. Because 2001, that wouldn't be on the PS2, right? That would be a PS1 game. If it was 2001, I would think. I don't think this game came out in 2001. Hold on. I got the case right here. It's just Disney Pixar's The Monster. That's all, that's all it is. Disney Pixar Monster Inc. See? The other versions came out in 2001? Yeah, this one's... What's the copyright date on it, at least? Does it say that? Nah, it doesn't even say, like, the copyright year. Not that I can see. 
I mean, I'm sure it says it like somewhere in here or something, but PS2 version came out in 2002. Okay. Some shit little company made the PS2 version. They just shit out licensed games. I mean, that's what it feels like. So I'm not surprised at all. That's, I would have been more surprised if it was like an actual company that made it, you know? You know what kind of sucks? Like, imagine, I mean, okay. So what I was going to say is, imagine a company like Rare made this game is what I was going to say. But I hate the idea of Rare just being forced to pump out shitty license games. But I'd rather that than what they spent like 30 years doing after Microsoft bought them. I'm obviously being a bit facetious. It hasn't been 30 fucking years, but still. Like, instead of the absolute nothing that Microsoft had them doing, they could have had them doing something fun, like a Monsters, Inc. game. <laughs> Not that Microsoft would buy the license to Monsters, Inc., I guess. I don't know. I guess I'm just fucking mad that Microsoft bought Rare and then Rare fell into the fucking ground. Where did our dude Thaddeus go? Not somebody made the Game Boy Advance version? That's kind of cool. Was the Game Boy Advance version any good? Or was it also garbage? Where the hell is Thaddeus at? Okay, you know what? I take it back. We'll talk to you. What's going on? Not some Atari, but it was before the company split. Uh, uh, I didn't know Natsume was ever part of Atari, to be honest. Hey, I got a lot on my mind, Sully. Okay, I'm going. Sully! Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, I got a lot on my mind, Sully. So he has no hints for us. So much for him having like good hints for us, huh? They split in 95. Oh yeah, no, this that was way after the split then, man. If they split in 95. Shit, I don't think I... Have I played any game from Natsume Atari then? <laughs> like, I don't think I have. Because like the oldest Natsume game I've probably ever played was Harvest Moon Back to Mineral Town, right? And I'm pretty sure that came out in like 96, I want to say. Might have been 97, 98, but I'm pretty sure it was after 95. Where the hell is Thaddeus, dude? We were originally talking to Thaddeus in here, so I thought he would be in here somewhere. Wait, is it through this door? Can we open the door? No. Is he hiding somewhere? Bruh, how are we stuck on the first level? Is he invisible? Did we somehow break the game? What's this? Is this like a save station or something? No. Oh, it's like a weigh-in station. Where the hell's that he is at? I know it said this door will open once we get the manual and talk to Thaddeus. Well, we got the damn manual. So where's Thaddeus? Of course, we were also told... You're not Thaddeus, are you? Oh, fuck, that was Thaddeus the whole time. I thought, like, the dude in the bottom left corner there with the little hat and whatnot was Thaddeus. <laughs> I was looking for a dude with a hat and shit. I'm a bit of an idiot. Oh, one day on the job, I'm already a failure. I knew I wasn't ready for this. Calm down, it's okay. I'll go to Mr. Waternoose's office and get your key. Yeah, this mean for the SNES wasn't developed by Natsume, nor was it published by them in Japan. Well, I know, I know it wasn't published in Japan by them. I know that was an America only thing. Um, 
I was just mixing up Natsume and what's the actual developer's name? I forget. I was mix mixing up the publisher and the developer. But regardless, I don't think I've played a game published by <laughs> or made by Natsume of America, as far as I can think, at least. Trying to collect the key to open the computer room door. Marvelous? Marvelous! Yeah, Marvelous Entertainment. That's it. That's the dev. Thank you. Oh. Bouncy box? Okay, whatever. Um, What are some games that they made, though? Or published? Like, old games, when it was still Natsume America. Is there anything you've played? Because if there's anything you played, then there's a decent chance that I would have played it. Okay, I'm guessing we need to, like, get the bouncy box over there. Can we push boxes or anything? No. Ooh, we can climb some stuff, though. Interesting. Bruh. Is it really not possible to... Ooh. What's the hint? I'll take the hint. Hint, this is a thing. Okay. Thanks, game. How do we get the key, though? Do we need to, like, hop on this dude? <laughs> I think we do need to hop on him. So I guess we just gotta wait. And then jump on him. Basically try not to suck ass. It's a tall order for me though. Nope. Poor split. I don't recognize any of the game. A decent amount was Japanese only. To be fair though, I don't really know that many NES SNES games. Fair. I'm no NES SNES expert either, to be completely honest. I know what you meant, man. You don't gotta specify. Now we can open the computer. Oh. Wait, why'd you stop? Just because we got the key. Uh, no, why'd you kick me off? How am I? Mm, okay. Well, I was going to collect the other scare things in here, but I guess it doesn't really matter. We don't really need them. Are the arrows pointing us in the direction we need to go in? Kind of seems like it. There's a scare container. Snacks! Wait, we haven't taken any damage. Maybe we should have saved the snack. What is this? Anything? Can we push this one? We can push! Oh god, it's one push at a time, though? Oh no, we can literally only push it once. Okay. That was unexpected. Scare? Why do we want to scare the wall? It didn't do anything. This is an elevator activation switch. If it is activated along with two other switches, the elevator to the upper floor becomes available. Oh. So wait, do we actually need to find those? I see another one over here. After the split, they were exclusive to handheld release in 2014, which they did develop the 2014 Godzilla game and a couple of console anime games. So I might have played some of the console anime games then. I haven't played that many anime games, but I have played some. Especially now with the whole PS2 gauntlet thing. Like, there's actually a decent few that I've played. Seven Deadly Sins and Little Witch Academia. Oh, you can jump on these things! Sorry, anyways. Oh, after 24... I see what you're saying, I see what you're saying. I got you. Hint, be careful in here, don't charge around or you may break something. Is charging a thing? Oh my god, now we have to activate all the switches? 
<sighs> okay, well, time to redo what we just did. I was wondering why they weren't, like, staying green. I thought, okay, maybe they just don't, you know? Like, maybe they turn green and then go back to red, and that's just how they work. Nope. Turns out they just weren't actually activating. Don't think Gary knows how to cat. Why? He spends 90% of his day loafing around not doing a damn thing. That sounds pretty cat-like to me. It doesn't get more cat-like than that, IMO. Why are we collecting the scare things again? Does it really matter? I can take the elevator to the upper floor. Okay. Is that back on the other side? He didn't go after it? That's called being lazy as fuck. We already know that. He a chonk. You don't want to move. He's probably mad you threw a straw he was trying to play with, bro. Do you blame him? Imagine you were playing with some shit and I just picked it up and stole it from you and then fucking tossed it across the room. You'd probably be a little pissed off at me too. You'd find where Thaddeus had left his key card and get it back to him, but don't disturb Mr. Water News. How do we disturb him? Is it like if he sees us, or what counts as disturbing him? Maybe I should have read what that said. Switch powers the door to the secret storage room. Mr. Waternoose realizes the door is open. He will leave his office, and if he catches you there, you'll be in big trouble. Oh no, not big trouble. Oh look, it's a bunch of shitty pictures of me. Well, I mean, he's over there, so what do I care? I'm not in there. This isn't funny. I literally wasn't in there. I was right outside of there. That's bullshit. Did I still get the thing or do I have to like recollect the thing? Did we just lose a health? I think we just lost a health. I'm assuming we still have the thing. Yeah, we still have the thing. It's fine. Is that what we were looking for? Wait, are we not allowed to be in his office either? I'm guessing we're not allowed in his office. Maybe that's what this one's for? What if I hit both of them? <laughs> okay, so this is just a freaking stealth mission in general. Which is by far my favorite freaking thing in a video game, obviously. In a Monsters, Inc. game, man. Give me that stealth gameplay, bruh. <laughs> Wait, how are we supposed to get out of here, man, in time? Do we have to hit, like, both? Like, what if we hit that? Hit this. It, like, instantly turned back off, though. Yeah, I guess it's just my day. Uh, whatever, it worked, I guess. Woo! Out we go! Like a 50 canister day. Now, where's Thaddeus at now? Is he still, maybe he's still in the hallway over here. I'm assuming we just got to go back to Thaddeus now, right? Did it say what we had to do after we collected the stuff? Oh god, Thaddeus isn't here anymore. Do we have, like, a hint in here or anything? No. No. 
No, there's like absolutely nothing in the menu. Uh, maybe... Maybe Solly. Solly's supposed to help us out. Hi, Solly. Nice going, Sully. By the way, what's with the new recruits? Some kid named Thaddeus is blubbering about how you said you get his key card. Now that the elevator's working, you should go do that before he starts crying. Yeah, sure. Let me see. What do you think? I'm... Where to? I... I got the key card already. <laughs> it's literally right here in my inventory. Where the hell's Thaddeus at, man? I hope we didn't just, like, run past him again like we did the first time. Where are you at, Thaddeus? I feel like Thaddeus should really be doing this shit for himself, to be honest. I love how, like, I jumped up on here once. And then have never been able to do it again. <laughs> Why is it, like, impossible to jump up on this thing when I want to? Hold on, it's fine. We got this. We just gotta wait for him to come back over. We might as well get the scare container, right? It's right there. No! You bastard! Um, okay, I think it stops here for a second, right? After it turns around. Oh, no! It didn't stop this time! Why didn't you stop this time? Maybe it stopped because we were, like, standing in front of it? So maybe if we, like, stand right here... He didn't stop. He did not give a shit. Bro, why won't you stop this time? Oh, now you stopped. But like... <laughs> but I wasn't up there. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> okay. It's fine. We got this. I just want to jump on the freaking thing. There we go. Thank God. Okay. Oh god, don't move. It's like slippery as fuck. God, we're like moving around all over this box without even touching the joystick. Is it gonna run into the thing? Thank god. It's really worried we would actually have to like do something. Lord knows I can't do anything. Okay, <laughs> where's Thaddeus though? That's what we're actually trying to do here. We trying to find my boy, the new recruit, the one, the only, the absolute worst freaking monster I've ever seen. Is he chilling in here, maybe? Why is the locker room like a freaking maze, man? Also, where'd all the other monsters even go? There's one. Hello. Okay, he gave us absolutely nothing, so thank you for that. Oh, okay, that's a dead end. That's a dead end. One of these has to be the way out. There's another monster. They here, I guess. They were just hiding. I mean, I guess part of being a good monster is probably being a good hider, right? Like, that would make sense. Okay. Is he over here somewhere? Oh, if only Mikey could see me now. Oh my god, dude. He was up here the whole time. <laughs> Oh my god. I hate life. Well, I, I would say let's get to work, but my ride home is going to be out front soon. Thanks again. See you tomorrow. We did all freaking that, and now your mom's here to pick you up, bro. <laughs> For real. Actual waste of time. Sure, I mean, we'll save. Whatever. Might as well.
Next level. I'm not playing the bonus movie. The bonus movie's just gonna be more scenes from the movie movie, man. I'm calling it. And like the bonus or the movies from the the Sorry, excuse me. Give me a second. The scenes from the movie are even worse because, like, then you get to hear the real voice actor. And then you got to go back into the game and hear that terrible freaking impersonator they got playing, Sully. Watch it be the original voice actor. and <laughs> I'm just a fucking idiot. It's possible, but I really don't think it is. I'm pretty sure it's some impersonator. Mike, I hate to tell you this, but I lost the kid in the mailroom. Sully, you need to find that thing. Wait. <laughs> Did you look in the mail train? Boo's here now? Disable them by whipping them with your tail. Oh, is that what we're doing? Is that a tail whip? But anyway, they didn't even show, like, the whole Boo thing. Boo just appeared out of nowhere. Imagine you played this game without watching the movie. You wouldn't even know like who Boo is or or anything, man. It would just Boo would just appear out of nowhere for no reason. Would make no freaking sense. I mean, to be fair, this is all making very little sense to me anyways, but you know. Oh, uh, uh what? What happened? Why did we get pushed back? Are the rollers rolling? Oh, the rollers are rolling. That's why. Okay. I mean, that's fair, I guess. I just didn't think the rollers would be rolling. I thought it would just be the conveyor belt. Isn't the whole point of rollers that, like, they're stationary? Well, not, like, stationary, but, you know, they're, like, they roll with whatever's rolling on them. Like, they're not powered, I didn't think. But, uh, what do I know? Uh. Oh, my controller died! <laughs> I was like, no! Bro. Oh, damn it. Okay. Hold on, that's fine. I got a charger over here. Of course I had to freaking die when we were on the roller and not just hanging out. I guess that gives us an excuse to grab like some of this other stuff down here. I don't care about scaring those dudes. Can we interact with these at all? No, it doesn't look like it. Mike Wazowski. Okay, that's a conveyor belt. Can we, like, can we jump on that when it comes down here? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like you probably could, and that would be a quicker way up. Is it coming back down now? It is. We got this. We're going to be ready for it this time. Grab it! Grab it! Nope. Okay. Never mind. Can't do it. It's weird how you can grab some things and not other things, I guess. It's fine though. It's not it's not a big deal. We'll we'll live. We just gotta slowly climb up this conveyor belt again. Jump up it for the extra speed. Everybody knows constant jumping is the fastest form of movement in every game. Obviously. Oh, that's right. Tail whip, not scare. Is it a temporary disable or is it like a permanent disable? I'm pretty sure the game told me, but... Wait, why'd it pop up and say talk for a second? Sully can use wires to access new areas. He just needs to jump up and grab the wire. Once on, he can let go by pressing the jump button. Hmm. I don't know what the talk thing was about. Is that like an elevator in case we fall? It's actually kind of handy if it is. Oh, 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, we fell. So does that thing come all the way down here or no? No, it stops like up there. Oh, that's garbage. Up again. Oh, wait. Did that one come all the way down? That one looked like it came all the way down. Let's go, dude. Give me shortcuts. I love it. So is that... That is where we're trying to jump to, though, right? That thing? Oh, my God. Oh, my God! <laughs> what? It, like, fell faster than we did, so we just started freaking free-falling. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is jank as hell. It's fine. Everything's great. We got this. <laughs> All right. Climb up. Am I missing something? It shows, like... Oh, is that one of the wires? That's That might be one of the wires that it was talking about us being able to use. Oh, it's like God of War style. I thought we were going to like slide down it or something. Not just, you know. Isn't that like a power wire? Just seems a little dangerous to be just holding on to that way. I mean, he's a monster. I guess maybe monsters don't work the same way us mere mortals do. Oh. Oh. Bless me. Sorry. Oh my god. I felt it coming. I knew it was gonna happen. I'm really glad the game's not overusing this whole wire mechanic. And that one we slid down. Okay. So, like... Was that one just... Oh, it froze us mid mid jump. Um this switch will cause a 23 to 19 alarm. Child loose in mail room. Giving the switch a good scare causing the mail train access door to open. The switch causes an alarm. Triggering it will cause the CDA to immediately investigate. Avoid being captured by the CDA by staying far from the CDA or hiding and sneaking. Well, I don't think we have any other choice, so so is that, I think, is that where we're trying to get to then? TDA are on to you. You need to avoid being caught by them or they'll put you through decontamination. You can sneak around or just avoid them altogether. You'll see a yellow warning light when the CDA are near. Well, then it looked like... How do we get all the scare stuff here? Oh, whatever. I mean, I don't see the CDA dude, so... You're a bastard. Get down here, Mr. Platform. I need a ride, you BB. Thank you. Uh, jump. No, don't let... <laughs> Oh, hi, CDA. You can't see me up here, right? No. We good. He blind as fuck. I'm used to, like, whenever you're holding on to something, I always think, you know, so you jump pressing X, so then if you want to climb up, you just press X again when you're holding on to the ledge, right? That's what makes sense to me, but no. You want to just hold up. Pressing X again just makes you fall off. Wait, did I get hit by that dude? Even though Solly has never been trained to drive the mail train, he does know that he needs a key to start it moving. Look around and see what you can find. 
So is that the game's way of telling me it's pointless to go in there until you get the key? Can we get crushed? This crush like instant death or... Nope, we just lose a health, okay. Wasn't there something in there? Maybe not. Wait, this is a push one, right? Okay, so we pushed it. So it doesn't close, but... Oh, does that stop all of them? That jams up all of them. I guess that's a good thing. Not that we really needed it to be stopped anyways, though. Like, it wasn't hard. We collected everything already. Oh, we just fell. We got a scare container out of it, though. Is this maybe where we're supposed to be? What are the chances? Is there a key down here? I know the game showed us where the key was, but honestly, I forget. I mean, obviously, it's around here somewhere, though, right? It ain't gonna be too far away. It's gonna be in the level that we're in. <laughs> oh, like, right freaking there, maybe. I guess that's a good place for it. I mean, do I care about collecting these things? I don't think I do, actually. We're just gonna go to the mail room. Mail, mail train. We're gonna jump to the mail train, because it's a lot freaking faster. Er, no, 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 no. It's only faster going the other direction. Now we want to run. <laughs> Gotta do the proper movement here. So how do we start this thing? Oh. We just stand on it. That's how... Oh. Oh, there's... There's barriers. Okay. This is not jank at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What? <laughs> Why did we get like pushed off of it like that, man? I thought we would take damage and then just fall or whatever, not... <laughs> or not fall, but like take damage and blink a couple of times like we did the first time. I didn't realize we were gonna like... Oh my god. Game is jank. Jank is game. Oh my god, dude. And of course, you can fall in between the two things, too, so... <laughs> this is fine. This is... this is great. I'm glad this is what we're playing tonight. Okay, so we want to be on this side. Ugh. <sighs> And then, at some point, we want to... Okay, we want to jump to this side. And then back over to this side. And then back over here. Okay, we got this, boy. I'm guessing we're going to want to go back to the left again. And then back to the right. Oh, God, don't fall! How's everybody doing? You guys good? You guys, you guys having fun? This is freaking great. I'm having the time of my life here. It's a 9 out of 10 game at least. Okay, so now we what? We want to jump back to the right again? Yeah. Then back to the left. And then back to the right. And then back to the left. And then back to the right. Oh god, okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. Please be over. Oh, nope, you're not over yet. Bro, why is this so jank? Why did we just like... Mm, I didn't even touch anything. We just started falling. We're dead. There was nothing even there. We're floating midair. 
That can't be powered. The, the air isn't electrified. <laughs> Freaking garbage. Is there an easier way to do this? Can we just like hide the whole time and just ride the track down? I love how like we don't even press anything though and like we just die at random points, dude. <laughs> Why like the first thing we hit, like the first time we rode it, we took damage and it broke the thing and we were able to keep going. Why is it not doing that now? Why do we just keep getting like pushed off of the train? Is it, are there different things that we're hitting? Like do different things do different things? Oh, you're a bastard. Okay, left, probably back to the right because we just went left. Oh shoot, left, <laughs> I didn't see it there for a second. And then right, sure, right, why not? I mean, it says there's a gate down, so I'm assuming we don't want to hit that. And then, no, it says gate down on left, so we'll stay right. Now left? Nope. Maybe right's the OP move? Nope. No, 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 do not fall in between. Take the hits, I don't care, but do not freaking fall in between them. Holy shit. Okay, well that just hurt me. That didn't knock me down. I don't understand like what knocks us off the train and what actually hurts us. Holy balls, we're alive. I don't mind taking the damage. I just don't want to get pushed off this fuck. Thank God, please have a checkpoint. So we never have to do that again. That was absolute garbage, bro. Oh, there's so many things in here. Okay, everybody's dead. Can we go through the door now? Smash. <laughs> that was an animation. Hello. See what I can do to help you. Yeah, it's like the first time I was named Top Scare. I'm glad somebody's having fun at least, Boo. Like, that's good. At least you're having a grand old time, dude. <laughs> Go to next level. This is... I'm so glad we started streaming PS2 games again, dude. That's all I'm saying. Like, thank God, man. What else would we have been doing tonight, you know? We could have been playing that Chain Together game. We could have been playing a cozy game. Could have been playing, I don't know, fucking Divinity with our with my brother or something. <laughs> like, thank God we fucking play Monsters, Inc. Bro, were you even watching, or did you just hit the button? I literally just sat down to drink. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, the drink hit the desk, and then the hydrate came through. I'm just saying. There you are, just for you, man. Oh, good, we get to save Boo again. Ugh. It's a funny thing, Mikey, but I've uh, 
lost the kid again. How do you keep losing it? All the trouble to get that thing out of the factory, and now it's loose in Monstropolis. Oh, well, well, it has to be around here oh. somewhere. So let's just get him and get it back to the apartment before lives are lost. Ooh, bunch of games just went on sale. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Budokai Tenkaichi 2? Budokai Tenkaichi 3? Uh, new in box? What does HTF stand for? Hard to find new, probably. Well, I don't want a new sealed in box copy anyways. I ain't got $400 laying around right now for that, so we're gonna ignore that one. Why is this one? Tenkaichi 2 is really $40? It goes for 50 apparently. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm gonna skip that for right now, but one of these days I do want to get it. Ooh, the X-Files game though? <gasps> Futurama? Ah, uh, no case. Damn. I actually really do want to get the Futurama game, but the Futurama game's like, it's expensive. It's one of the more expensive PS2 games. This one says it has a broken disc. And they're only taking $8 off, like, the standard price of it. How's the disc broke? What's wrong with the disc? Oh, there's a little crack on the inner ring, so the disc will still play, but it's like, whatever. Anyways, okay, sorry. Done looking at games. I'll find Just keep an eye out for not the time for jokes, Sully. Right. Sorry. Alright, let's find Boo one more time. And then I think we're done with Monsters Inc. <laughs> like, sorry, I can't freaking... Nope. I'll, I'll, big surprise, I'm sure, but this game is not going on the games to complete list, man. Although, I don't think anybody really should have... Expected it to anyways. Okay, so now we can't grab power lines. Can we grab this one? Imagine we could. That would have been like a huge skip. Do we scare it? Why do you scare switches? Why can't you just pull switches? Did they like not use the scare mechanic enough? So they just decided that you can scare random things? Or did they like not want to animate pulling a switch was that too much work i just don't understand the idea of scaring switches man oh god is there an invisible wall here or no okay there we go i mean that was pointless but whatever <laughs> <laughs> the game's so bad. It's so bad. Why? <laughs> oh my god. What is that? Is that meant to be a billboard? It looks like a child's drawing over there. Okay, we scared the power out of this. Wait. And, like, scaring creates electricity in this world, too, right? So wouldn't scaring things, like, make more electricity, not turn it off? I clearly don't... Bro, I hit circle, like, 20 times. I clearly don't understand this game at all. That's the problem. The game's not bad. It's just above me, man. The game's better than me. I just don't understand its greatness, you know? I just can't see it. Are we supposed to be avoiding you? Wait, didn't we scare you off already? Is there another switch somewhere? Is it on a timer? Oh, are they... Are they coming down and turning it back on? Bro, that's fucking annoying. Oh, hi.
They spotted us. Why would they do this, man? This is freaking... This is, this is not thrilling gameplay here. Did they turn it back on? They turned it back on. Is there a way, like, up here quicker? Also, look how small this building is. It's literally, like, two and a half Sullivans wide. Why would you make a building that small? I mean, I guess there's probably some small monsters out there. I shouldn't be hating, you know? Small monsters need housing, too, after all. Okay, climb. We gotta we gotta speed run this bitch in order to in order to get it. Look, they already here turning the power back on. Let's go, dude. Imagine they turn the power back on like mid mid slide. Chocobo, what's up, my guy? Hello. Oh, uh, hey, while you were gone, we decided that for every bit donated over 99, you get a uh, vote. So just a warning, Mass Effect now has, like, massive numbers, that's all. Uh, <laughs> so just wanted, to, just wanted to let you know. It felt weird, like, having channel points give bits, but not... Or give bits, give votes, but not like actual bits or donos. So I was like, fuck it. How much to eliminate votes? I mean, couldn't you just vote on something else? It's basically the same thing. No. <laughs> oh my god. I would say it would have to cost at least double. So every two bits over 99 gives a one point deduction, a one vote deduction on something. <laughs> you can't have it be cheaper, right? Like it has to cost more. I don't understand what we're doing here. Oh. Okay, why did that not trigger, like, right away? We were already standing over there. I don't understand this game at all, man. Was that an extra life or whatever? That's an extra something. Are we going up? There's another thing over there to scare, though, so... I feel like we need to scare that. You know, playing this makes me think of Kingdom Hearts 3 and the Monsters, Inc. level on that. And uh, I don't find myself saying this too often, but fuck do I wish I was playing Kingdom Hearts 3 right now. <laughs> like, holy shit, boy, would I love to be playing some KH3 at the moment. I'm just saying. We... Okay, so we need to turn off the power again, I'm assuming, right? They've got to have you do the same mechanic 16 times, otherwise it's just not the same thing. Wait, is that... Do we have to, like... Nope. <laughs> Get wrecked. Wait... Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I thought we were dying for a second. I was like, wait a second. Why are we sliding, bro? Where are we going? Nah, we're fine. We're fine. It's all scripted. It's all part of the show. Oh, hi! <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know there were dudes over here. Thank God for checkpoints, at least. So, wait, where's that? Does he just, like, run around in circles? Okay, well, then we just won't go over there. Or do we need to go over there? We might have to go over there, actually. Yeah. Doesn't look like we have a choice. Can he see us through the wall? 
why does it keep lighting up yellow? Also, can I get the camera to go around the wall so I can see? Oh shit, now he sees us for sure. How far will you follow me? Oh god, you'll like follow pretty far. <laughs> okay. So like, there's the whole sneaking thing. Does this actually work? We're not the... The lizard dude. Does this actually stop you from seeing me? How? How do you not see me right now? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. No! 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 You... The controls are so bad! <laughs> Why do they suck so much? Oh good, the platforms are still moving. Okay. So at least we don't have to yell at the, the switch again. To make it work. Now I get it, man. <laughs> Suddenly it all makes sense that <laughs> Sometimes it just be like that you got to yell at the switch to make them work. I totally get it So is this the one we want to go to next Honestly not positive like where we're even trying to go right now. Oh You bastard no 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 no, 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 stay. Oh, oh. Controls are garbage. We have like no control over the camera right now. Where's the next thing to jump to? We can only move the camera down and we can move the camera up. Do we want to jump over here? Okay, no, this seems like a slide down type area. I mean, I couldn't grab that cable, so. Oh, okay, well. Hopefully that's where we wanted to be going. Wait, that's just going to take us back and forth, though. It seems like we need to get over to there. How do we get over to there? We can't grab that platform. Are there more orange arrows up there, maybe? That tell us where to go? Oh. Can we go into first person here? No, we can't even do first person. Maybe we need to go to like those ones. We can grab these platforms. Wait. So we haven't been on this one before, but do we want to be on this one? I don't think so. I think we want to keep going over. I'm assuming this is the one we want, right? Hello. Oh, there's Boo. I love how this, like, monster walking around here, Boo literally just walked through him. And one of the little robot dudes. Boo's invincible? Actually a god. Confirmed. Hey there, looks like he could use an extra hand. Only authorized monsters are allowed in here, but... Yeah, thanks for the big help. Okay, whatever. Like, you're not kicking me out, so what What the hell does it matter? <laughs> like, you can say that, but it doesn't mean anything if you just say it. 
if you ain't backing it up somehow. Do I want to go in here or is this going to fuck me over? How is Boo even like going from place to place here? I feel like that's never really explained. Wait. Why am I back down here? Was this not where we were supposed to go? Bruh. Does it not look like we're supposed to ride the string and end up on top of that water tower thingy? Oh, okay, that didn't work. Can I jump like... What's down here? Can I just go over here? What's this do? Oh, <gasps> no! This took us backwards! We did not want to end up here. Checkpoint? Bro, it checkpointed us on the wrong side! <laughs> no! Can we, like, jump back over, please? I don't want to be here. I don't want to do all that again. What? Game, why? Why do you suck so much, game? Why would they put, like, a fence separating these two areas? But then not have, like, an unpassable fence up top there. To stop you from falling back over here. Now, uh, hmm, we're literally back at like basically halfway through the level now. Absolute dog shit. Okay, well, at least I guess all the platforms are moving still. And we know where we're going now. But still, game, come on, man. Why you be like this? We gotta wait for the platforms to line up properly again. Thank you for the one bit. Appreciate ya. <laughs> okay, is this good? This is good. This works. I'm not laughing at your bit, I was thanking you for the bit. Every bit is appreciated, man. Every bit good bit. Now don't accidentally go up there. We want to go here. Okay. We're back to where we were. For fuck's sakes, do not go to the other side of that thing there. Am I doing something wrong? I don't see anything else we can do. Are we supposed to like... Okay, well it worked that time. Then I'm assuming we just do some shitty platforming over to here. Yeah. Can we not talk to you or anything? Are you not like a sentient monster? Are you just someone's pet? I'm so scared to go anywhere now because I feel like everywhere we go we're gonna look, get our progress reset. <laughs> we're just gonna be screwed. Okay, the arrow's pointing over to the right. 
So is there like a power switch up here somewhere? I don't see one. Is it going to be like another time thing? Is the power switch going to be all the way over here and then we have to quickly run over there to hit the thingy? Oh, okay. Bad jump. Where are we even trying to go? The other side of this wall, I'm assuming. Bruh, why can you not just grab that ledge? Nope, okay. We gotta jump off the little air vent thingy. If we can get on it. Broski. This game is so much more... See, like, Optijack, my guy, brother. You were thinking that game last night was gonna be frustrating, the chain together or whatever. Bruh, I'd rather play shit like that all freaking day than a shitty platformer like this <laughs> like because <laughs> this is just freaking garbage man <laughs> like it controls so poorly so what's even the point of that other thing over there if we're not going to use it the other like flappy steamy bit Whatever, just ignore it then. Oh, shit. Hulk smash. There's a way up from here, right? Yeah, okay, there's a ladder. We'll climb it eventually, man. Sometimes you gotta hit the button five or six times, but eventually you'll actually grab the ladder and start climbing it. No worries. got this also i wish like when you move the camera up it'd be really nice if the camera actually like stayed up where you put it we got boo we got boo thank god dude <laughs> i think we're done with monsters inc man <laughs> like, monsters inc this game is ass it's Definitely not going on the list, man. <laughs> like, we we played it. I'm glad we played it. I'm glad we gave it a try. Um, but I would prefer to never play it again. So let's let's mark it. It's done. Disney's Pixar Monster Inc. Is it or maybe what's it what's it under? Where where the hell is it? Control F. Monster Inc. You can't vote to finish. You can vote on whatever the hell you want, but I don't have to put it on the list to finish. <laughs> so your vote could just be entirely in vain. That's all I'm saying. I can't stop you from voting on something, but I can stop myself from putting it on the list. So <laughs> it's probably just be a waste, man. Uh, that's definitely a meh game. All right. Um, two thirty. That's probably enough time to play a day of cozy game to wind down for the night. Yeah. This will be our tester to see like how long it takes to play a day of cozy game. So let's do that now then, shall we? Uh, story of seasons. Pioneers all of town. Done. And I just got set up the game, so BRB. Divine despicable force through fear and intimidation. It is them that you must direct.